Well, hello. This is Max. It's good to see you. Looks like I need to do a little spring cleaning after that little accident we had in the old windy hole. That never gets old. Surprise montage! <laughs> I got you with the surprise montage. Anyways, that was cool, but testing these blades is more fun. So let's move on to the blade that we left untested. It's called the Airfoil 2 version 2. I'm really sorry about that. I'm not that creative. Oh, and I'm taking some advice from my dad, and I'm going to put on some protection. I found these nifty belts that are made for vinyl turntables, and I'm just going to just gonna slip it on top like this. That should work. Into the windy hole with you. Wow, that nearly doubled the output of the previous best. Uh, that could probably because the other one prematurely left the tunnel, but uh, you know, we can come back to that one later. For now, this variant of the airfoil holds first place. Oh, and one more thing. I think, I think these need to be safety tested because we probably don't want to be making what basically amounts to an animal blender. Uh, well, I guess kind of depends on your goals, but <clears throat> we need an animal. Um, and since my dogs aren't cooperating, I'm going to have to get crafty. I think I can make a pretty faithful recreation of a peacock using these supplies. I think I'll name him Peter. Peter the Peacock Pickle. Well, probably gotta take that off. Insert the pickle, uh, peacock. Inserting peacock. Thank goodness. You'll all be relieved to hear that Peter survived, so we can definitively say that this turbine is animal safe. Okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs>